Make I update to now see the heart. But the idiots, knock them the update. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Engineer Rabio Kwankwaso, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NMPP. They on the ballot, oh, make no forget. <laughs> In fact, Kwankwaso, now the custodian of Buhari's 12 million votes. Abdul Mumin Jibrin. This is our discussion today. Make Kurana Masi the hot. Of course, my name is A to the D to the S A D S. Let's go there. Now, few things we know about Rabio Kwankwaso. Even I say the media, when they give up enough publicity like the other candidates, what has Kwankwaso been up to? What makes him think he stand a chance in 2023? Kwan Kwaso get strategy for him campaign. What is it all about? Make we find out. Oh yeah, watch. We've been going around uh, uh, the country. Unlike other parties that go to capital cities alone and uh, and come back and obviously as a politician, I'm telling you this, uh, Charles, uh, the gathering in the stadium uh, in the capital cities is not a reflection of the voting strength of any candidate. Ask the candidates to go to towns and villages. That is what we do. Our candidate is the only presidential candidate that goes around towns and villages. For instance, uh, not trying to criticize uh, the APC, they launched their campaign in Plateau. You saw the gathering. You saw the crowd in the stadium in Plateau. Our candidate was in Plateau a few weeks, uh, a few weeks ago on a visit. He did not stay in the stadium, fly uh, from the airport to the stadium and fly back. He went uh, uh, into uh, the metropolis of uh, uh, Jos, drove all around with the convoy, went to the outskirts of Play 2 State, went to Barikiladi, went to Mangu, went to Gindri, come back to the right, went to Panshin, and by the next trip, we are going to Wasi. Now, you need to do a bit of work, Charles. Go and take the video. Of the people that came out to receive Kwankwasu, not funded with one penny, no money given for people to take buses to come to stadium, and compare it with the gathering of uh, the APC opening a rally, you understand what we are talking about. Just a few days ago, we are just coming from uh, uh, from Yobi. In Yobi, all the parties have scheduled to meet in Damatu, give the people uh, money for buses, gather in the stadium, say hi to them, tell all the lies, and get out of there. Just three days ago. We went to Unguru, we went to Gashua. I'm sure you've never had these names. These well, are heard big of it. towns. These are big towns, and we went to Gaidam. Gaidam mm -hmm. is Gaidem. the town of the former governor. Right. Only courageous, a courageous politician that is standing the risk as a presidential candidate will go to Gaidam. We arrived Gaidam around 7 p.m. in the night. This was just three, four days ago. Even the military that were guiding the city gate were so scared. And they said, do you really want to go in? The presidential candidate said, look, I want to go see things for myself. I want to relate with people in the front of their houses, in their villages. I don't even want to stress them to come and see me. I want to be the commander-in-chief. And so I want to go and meet them where they are. We've been going around everywhere we go. Yeah, but, but We're in the East. You yeah. haven't said this. I'm sure you don't even have this information. Because the media, they, 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 I don't want to say they are not being fair to us. We're the only presidential candidate that has spent three nights three nights in the eastern in the southeastern part of the country three nights going around in the east peacefully that now the spokesperson of the kwan kwaso presidential campaign council abdo mumin jubrain him say as other presidential candidates they rent massive venues in the state's uh, capital territory with rented crowds to campaign say him principal kwan kwaso they do the actual grassroots campaign. <laughs> he believes a grassroots approach goes Samaram the presidency in 2023. Aside playing grassroots politics, Juan Kwaso CV, they very intimidating. Eh? Make we no lie. If not by experience in public office, no candidate go come near Juan Kwaso. Make we not hear Juan Kwaso CV. Oh, yeah, watch. 
This man was a civil servant for 17 years. He knows the problem of civil service. Civil service is the engine room of any president. For any president to, to succeed his engine room. Tell me, how many, uh, how many of you either get somebody who has one experience and lack the other? Civil service, 17 years. Civil servants will be comfortable with him. The National Assembly, you are not talking about just a senator. He was in the House of Representatives. And not only as a member of the House of Representatives, he was a presiding officer. There's a difference from being a member of the House, being a principal officer of the House, and being a presiding officer. He was a member of the House and a presiding officer. He was in the Senate. He was in the Constitutional Conference. He was a minister. He was a two-time governor over a span of about eight years. So he has related with about 60, over 60 different governors in this country. Look at the latitude of contact, network, experience that he has. Don't forget, even as Minister of Defense, he has had the opportunity to preside over the police. So he has a dual experience of presiding over defense and also presiding over mm. police. So at the end of the day, this man is a civil servant. He is a politician. He has been a governor. He has been a minister. And Let me tell you something. The, re the real work he has been the real work of implementation is in the Federal Executive Council. How many of the presidential uh, candidates have gone to Federal Executive Council before? It will take them six months learning how to present memo. Yes, they have done it at the state level, but it's different. But this man has been in the council at the state level. He has been in the council at the national level. So if you say you are a governor, you haven't been to the council. If you say you've been a former vice president, you've even been in the Senate. If you have been in the Senate, where have you been? House of Reps yeah. or, well, or, or been in the Senate? So to to now to put the icing on the cake. Right. And people don't even know about this. He's also an entrepreneur. This man has been has been a proprietor of schools from elementary to higher institutions. People don't know about that. Right. So he understands the problem of business okay, in this you, country. Made, in addition, you, you've in addition let me just like, put, put this last one. Right. In addition to being a farmer, not uh, with a farm. This is a practical farmer. So the blue, our blueprint where we talk about agricultural revolution, it is not coming. His vision is not built from just hearsay. This is something that he does. So he understands where it pinches. He knows how to open the agricultural sector, especially towards getting us to diversify. So our given all of this man done day everywhere. Seventeen years of civil service in Kano State. <laughs> Don't be two time governor. Don't they House of Representatives as a member and as a principal uh, officer? Don't they inside Senate too? Don't be Minister of Defense, an entrepreneur, a farmer. <laughs> he done serve almost everywhere. Just Kwan Kwaso. <laughs> no doubt, Kwan Kwaso, they very experienced. Just like uh, our sitting uh, president. <laughs> President Buhari was so experienced that we had to hire him to serve the country. But his experience failed Nigerians, no doubt. This one should say, eh, experience, no just the enough. Again, Kwankwaso achievements inside public office he plenty, according to his spokesperson, Jubrin. Make you watch this video. Now I tell you this. If we have the kind of publicity of Lagos, if we have the kind of grip on the media like the way Lagos does, believe me, Lagos will be like a uh, kitchen in a duplex compared to the achievement of our uh, Konkoso in Kano. Now we talk about her. But here I'm not referring to Aswaji because of course Aswaji is my baba. I like him, I respect him a lot. We're now talking about Lagos. We we'll talk about, compare it. Lagos, they talk about, oh, uh, we, they've established one city. Konkoso established three cities. Three, not right. PPP. Well, Get my money. You don't know this. You've asked questions. Let me answer you. Okay. Establish three cities. Establish two universities. Establish 44 technical colleges. Establish 250 primary schools. Establish 125 junior secondary school. Establish five mega secondary school. Establish a multi-million naira girl education. Uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, with, 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 with all fairness, no, 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 I can't. No, 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 let, let me I mean, just, I, I, I will take just a minute. Yeah, I, just I a minute. can't verify everything you're saying. I'm just not doubting you, but I can't just verify. I tell you so this. I need to make just a minute. Clear. Right. He built 34 roads across different parts of our uh, canoe. He built an additional 330 kilometers of road across the 44 local government, which he left at advanced stage with 5, 5 kilometers across every local government. He left it as an advanced stage. He built the first two independent power plants in Kano. He was building the third one 
advanced stage of completion and he left 43 million dollars in the account so you see because we don't talk by our nature you are more advanced in, than us in terms of media and the rest if nigeria will understand the kind of achievement concourse has put now when you go back to the educational sector do you know that people don't understand this concourse banned street begging for kids by the time he left government in 2015, there is no one single child that is not in school. He built 3,000 classes, built 450 teacher, teachers' lodge, mobbed these kids completely, and put them into school. Then he declared free education. Not for only primary school. Primary school, secondary school, university. Free education in Kano. Go and as uh, as uh, your level, then, uh, as the level presenter can do, we say, go and verify. In our own case, go and verify. And I can assure you. Right, okay, okay. Do you know the whole of this? Do you know the interesting thing? Do you know the interesting thing? No, because we have not been talking. You see, sometimes I see people achieve little, little things and they yeah, come I, and I promote understand it. that, but this just is the last not, thing I will tell you. This is not a problem. Yes, I will give you. I will give you. I will, I will let you know. I will let you know how. Oh, thank you. The whole of this. The whole of this. Achievements, the whole of this achievement, he did not borrow a pen to execute it. This one big Jubilee talk say if Kano eh, get the kind of publicity or the kind of media presence where Lagos gets, say Lagos go be like kitchen in a duplex inside Kano State. Him say, Juan Quaso carry children where they beg, come out from streets, enter school inside Kano. When him being governor. I don't think hear this cause about this man, but I don't know say he played too like this. <laughs> With the plenty road projects, establishment of schools, both primary, secondary, and tertiary, tertiary in a university, for those of you who don't understand. <laughs> Free education, all to Kwan Kwasa's credit in Kano State as governor. Him no borrow even one Kobo to execute this project. One Naira, him no borrow. And then, when he won't come out office, just like Peter Obi of Labour Party, he leave $43 million for the incoming uh, government to work with. Ah! Kwan Kwasu get level low. <laughs> now, we know they hear all these things, all this why. Now, why I say make a carry and come give una. So, Ona go no see another Obi deal. Ona they hear me so. Uh -huh. These are claims made by his spokesperson, Abdul Mumin Jibril. Him say, anybody, they free to go and verify. <laughs> Vito V has started a movement to go and verify. Kwamkwaso is saying, my brother, don't just hear all that you have heard. Go and verify. Now, you get time where everybody... We will make Kwan Kwaso of NMPP and Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party come together, like make them merge together as one. Why that merger no work? Eh? And they ask that question, Abi. Why the merger no work? I make you find out. Watch. The NMPP and the Labour Party are benefiting from something, something new. Nigerians. You know this. Nigerians are tired of the APC. They are tired of uh, the PDP. So naturally. The new, the two, the two uh, the strongest uh, the new parties, the NMPP and the Labour Party, were benefiting from that. And at the initial level, yes, there were alliance uh, uh, talks. I don't want to go into that uh, uh, details because the south eastern part of the country felt we disrespected them, and we don't disrespect them. We like them. We we like their candidate and everything and the rest. But for the purpose of this uh, uh, the interview. We, we advised them at them that, look, Konkoso is a senior partner here. He's more experienced than you, Obi. And he's going to come with more vote, far, 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 maybe triple times the number of votes that you are going to bring on the table. If you take away Konkoso as a presidential candidate, you will lose that vote. So why are you even going into the alliance? So we advised them that, look, why don't you take the route? And that is why, you see, the other of us, they are not foolish. You know, we're patient for eight years to be able to, to now have the uh, Awale Khan and Emile Khan, which people are criticizing. There is nothing wrong about it. If you see what they did, the labor they went through, the frustration as Wajo and Co went through in APC, they stood, they persevere. And that is why the man said, Awale Khan, he said Emile Khan. But it was strategic. They implemented it over a period of eight years. And so we told the southeastern part of the country that, look, yes, you people have been deprived. You have a case, a very strong one. 
and we will start addressing it by appointments and everything. Yeah, but just give us the president. <laughs> but, 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 and, and we said to them, look, be strategic about right. this thing. Your best bet. Let me conclude this. Your argument with that was, was your give best the president yeah, let me say, will address your Allow concern. me to say it. Right. He said the best bet for you is come and run with Kwankosu. And for sure guarantee, after Kwankosu you take the president, they said we insulted them. And we said, look, we have a more chance, a better chance to win this election than you. We right. go our way. Very of people came to this program. In fact, I love to reminisce what he said, to rewind what he said. He said, the alliance is D-E-A-D, -E dead. The same day Okupe, three weeks ago, came to one of the program in uh, channels and said, look, Konkosu is not getting media coverage, but Konkosu is very, very much on ground. And we are talking with Konkosu's team. We said, we are not talking to you. The image are not work because... Both Peter Obi and Kwan Kwaso believe say them big weller not to become running mates to each other. In the case of scratch my back, I scratch. They say, eh, eh, they don't want that one. Say them big to be running mates to anybody. Jibri say them believe the Southeast they marginalized and say if the major be work, say them for address the concerns of the Southeast with. Plenty appointments. <laughs> so the case here now, that of support me and I will reciprocate with appointments to your people. What a negotiation. <laughs> Finally, he get 12 million votes. Where they somewhere, they wait for Kwan Kwaso. Where the 12 million votes go come from? Oh yeah, make we find out. Watch. The political behavior of the northern voter, they always find somebody to rally around. In the last almost 17, 18 years, they rallied around President Mahmoudou uh, Nabuhari, where he consistently continued to post that 12 million uh, vote. I tell you this today, and in the next three months, you are going to confirm it. The beneficiary of that 12 million vote in the northern part of the country is Konkoso. What happens so, to Atiku Abu Look, I, I, I think Abu Bakr, they are carrying a lot of uh, liability. Uh, Nigerians haven't forgotten, uh, forgiven PDP for the 16, uh, 16 uh, years. And there's no way that PDP is telling you that we are good. PDP is only telling you that, yes, we are bad, but we are better than APC. I'm telling you this. So, uh, so he is going to he is going to have the largest chunk of vote from the northern part of the country. But if I take this party one after the other, I will tell you. I will tell you straight ahead. PDP, APC, none of them is going to win the next election. They can't win it. How are they going to win it? Take APC. Look, take PDP. Uh, 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 for example, PDP in the last four years, as a one united house. They were not able to win the presidential election. Now, a PDP, you don't have a Peter Obi, who I believe that is going to sweep the vote in the eastern part of the country. You don't have Konkosu. If you have Konkosu, probably we will say, yes, PDP will, uh, will win. With one candidate, of course, Konkosu, the custodian of the 12 million Buhari vote, he will be able to make them win the election. But you do not have a Konkosu. And to make matter worse, the five, the G5 governors, I tell you this. Wiki and his group have no any future. Okay, let, let's in, move away from uh, that. Quickly also tell you. <laughs> you APC and PDP. Yeah, 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 no. Way. APC and PDP. For APC, PDP of course have analyzed their problem. For APC, people think there's no problem in uh, APC. The problem of APC, the least problem APC has is Aswaju. In fact, Aswaju is an asset to APC. The problem APC has is that in the last eight years, they've been winning the election because they've had this advantage of 12 million votes. The 12 million vote is not there. Where are you going to get the 12 million vote? Now, in the southwestern part of the country, where it is expected that they will be able to mop a vote and at least have something to put on the table to start the race, there's a lot of uh, 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 problem there. Of course, PDP is fighting them there. Labour Party is fighting mm. them there and the rest. So we are the ones. They will not allow you to see this analysis. Okay, well, Mili, Mili. Jibri say the 12 million votes that Buhari been pulled all through the time him been the contest for president now belong to Kwan Kwaso. Him say both PDP and the APC no go win this presidential election. Jibri say PDP not feel win this election when them they united as a party in the last election. It can't be now, eh, where the party, they divided. See how that will take happen. Peter Obi, don't carry Eastern votes. Come out for PDP. The G5 uh, governors, eh, when a uh, be their leader, no day with the party. Again, no. 
No, say they don't come up for the party. Eh, eh. But they know they with the party uh, presidential uh, candidates. So make I ask Nigerians, my fellow Tatafo people, how PDP won't take with this uh, election? Make an answer. Then for APC, the police say they don't they win elections in the past because they them get advantage of the 12 million votes where they on top a uh, president Buhari head. But now the 12 million votes don't shift from Buhari enter Kwankwaso. So how APC won't take win uh, the 2023 presidential election? Jibri say fa 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 foul them no fit win. In conclusion, my fellow Nigerians, these now permutations put in place by party royals. When I mean permutation, permutation now, eh, 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 we could try it this way. Eh, no, 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 you don't go work. We could do it this way. You don't know, you know, understand that. <laughs> the real thing there with Nigerians, don't be all these permutations where uh, party royals they play. Eh, eh. We go decide where to go 2023. Who be the we? The Nigerian people. Eh? Make sure say you vote in 2023. I will see you tomorrow. Why are you wait? You don't collect updates you want to run away, Abi. Biko, 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 subscribe, subscribe. Enjoy. Biko, Da Allah, subscribe.